Hi, this is the Renegade 18 slat. The Renegade 18 slat was made specifically for an 18 key firing system like the Cobra firing system. What makes this unique is, although it is a parallel slat, it has DB25 outputs here and here. But what makes this unique is I've built in a um, built-in continuity test. So all you have to do is push the two safety switches here and uh, as you can see the LED lights show up. We'll pull a tag here, killing Q1 and I'll push it. And as you can see Q1 light did not light. It's hard reaching over this but we'll make it a good try here. And as you can see, it just lit up again. So <clears throat> for the next test we'll do is we'll go ahead and we'll fire off the talon to show you why uh, it's another advantage because obviously if it's a series slat, you can't fire talons. So the problem with parallels before were that you had issues showing continuity on these slats. Um, the other thing is for series slats, you have to shunt the ends, but you don't have to shunt these. Additionally, you can run multiple slats off of this and not needing to um, have a dummy cue filled. Um, for instance, if you had two series slats and you didn't have, say, Q15 wired in in the first slat, Q15 on the second slat would also not work. However, a parallel slat like this, it will work, and you don't have to dummy the, the Q out. The, um, the, because it's in parallel, the, the voltage will not only go to Q15 here directly, but it'll go to Q15 on the second slat directly. We're gonna go ahead and hook this up to a uh, Cobra firing system. Okay, so the uh, power of television, uh, as you can see, it's magically already connected. And uh, in order to set up the Cobra 18, you have to go through Cobra firing systems and get one of these uh, little adapters here. And it's a very simple hookup. You just basically take the um, the cover plate off, take the old modules off, and they're just they're just snapping. Um, plug and plays very simple and then you take the old ones out and you put this new power bar in and as you can see there's a DB25 and um, you take a male end cable and you just snap it in and of course the other end of the male cable goes into the male end of the uh, of the Renegade 18 and you can now do actually continuity on two different uh, ways now Obviously, the beauty of having this is you don't have to, hook, ha to have to hook it up to a firing system in order to test the continuity. You can hook these things up to uh, to your talons days ahead of the, the firing um, show, and uh, then at the last uh, you know time before you've done all your tests and whatever, before you're ready to start the show, you can go ahead and hook it up to your firing system. And then you can run a, a continuity with the firing system itself. Uh, just by pressing the test, of course, you can see all 18 hooked up. Or, if you wanted to, you can also uh, hit test here on the, the, the hand remote. So anyway, that's how that is. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to fire a couple cues off here. And uh, basically, just going to see how this thing actually performs. So we're going to activate the system. It's activated. This right here is a talon, and we're gonna go ahead and fire the talon here. Three, two, one, firing. You can see it fired off. And uh, then I'm gonna go fire Q1, three, and it's gonna pop. So three, two, one. And that's about all I'm gonna do for right now. I don't wanna have my wife get too angry that I'm doing tests on the dining room table. So uh, I'm sure you can appreciate that. Anyway, uh, so this is the Renegade 18, and we also have the um, Renegade 32, which is used for a 32Q firing system, and that uses Centronics connections instead of the uh, DB25s. So, um, pretty versatile little guy. The other thing I recommend, because we all know, uh, you know how rough the uh, sights that we shoot in can be, 
you can actually just pop this thing right inside a Seahorse 300 case and I'll screw it down and then uh, at the end of the show and close it down and uh, just have the wires going out the sides to protect it and then uh, as long as you take pretty good care of the uh, the, the uh, slats they'll be good to go for years and years to come